CSF Entertainment. Yo, 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 what up, though? And welcome back to TSF Entertainment. This time we are bringing you BMF Season 3, Episode 5, Exclusive Picks and Predictions. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Episode 5 synopsis says, Meech and Terry rediscover, excuse me, rediscover the Black Mecca of Atlanta. Both brothers learned the process of breaking into the scene in Atlanta will not be as easy when they are met with the old guard who wants to retain. So here, as we all know, that T from the last episode is going to Atlanta. So we have T here, which we know is in none other than Duffy's studio, uh, eating a back, excuse me, a box of crunch and much. Here, him and... I'm going to say him and Meech are probably, you know, just having a whole discussion on how they're going to take over Atlanta, how they're going to move their product through Atlanta, as well as start to venture through other pipelines at St. Louis and so forth. Here we have T, Meech, Duffy, and Rep, and I'm not sure the other character, but we know he is one of Stack soldiers um, who was pulled in by Meech after Meech pawned his Rolexes to pay them. And we see them here at Techwood Homes. Now, from the trailer that we saw for this episode, we know that an all-gun battle just, just happens. It's all blaze bullets everywhere, whole battle. Now, the question is, why is BMF in Techwood in the first place? That's the question. I'm thinking it's possibly two reasons um, that they're there at Techwood. One, it could be quite possible that... Maybe Meech is now wanting to team up with Remy Ransom as Techwood is his home and where his crew run. Maybe now he's wanting to team up with Remy Ransom now since he has a whole, you know, a whole shipment that's going to flood the streets of Atlanta. And he wants to keep his enemies closer. You know, I'm sure he still feels some type of way with Remy taking out Ty Washington. But for now, he's thinking, you know, possibly let's just join up with him, you know, get him in all good. You know, we get in with him good and then we take him out. That could be. I don't think that's, you know, that's likely. Um, but then we also it could possibly be that Stacks sets him up somehow and makes them go over to Techwood as we saw in the last episode where Stax was with Glock. And we also saw in the trailer that Glock and the MKs come running up to take them out as well as Remy Ransom. So I'm leaning more towards that Stax is somehow the reason as to why BMF shows up in Techwood. Here we have Jen and Amberson sitting down in the crib just going over evidence so i'm thinking here is where maybe they start to discover more into the whole um case with cuts as we know cuts got locked up um as well as to why detective bryant was riding in the ambulance the night that they caught cuts or it could be that maybe they didn't get any info from um lenny edwards the guy who purchased the ambulance and now they're just combing over evidence trying to find any and everything and especially to tie the unaliving of saint to um to t here we see Ren King in a warehouse and she's looking in a car I'm thinking possibly it is Detective Bryant in the car as we know that she's pretty pissed at Detective Bryant and thinks that Detective Bryant screwed her over when he was supposed to help her set up T and Meech and take them out so they could take their work. But she did not know that Detective Bryant got locked up. So I'm thinking Bryant ended up getting locked up. He gets out after he gets out. Him rings King crew snatches him up, you know, maybe knocks him out or whatnot, ties him up and brings him to this car. And this is possibly where she learns that, you know, Bryant was actually locked up. Or maybe this is also where she informs him about Detective Bryant's son as he as she told him, I would hate to have to pull the protection off of your son. And this could be 
uh, quite the scene here where she lets him know I pulled the protection and we find out that Kevin has been unalived. Here we have Meech and Rip in Duffy's studio. We know that Meech told Rip from day one, you know, you don't need to be in the game. You need to follow your dreams. You have a lot of talent. You need to stick with that. So Meech is handing Rip a tape, which I'm going to think that that tape is a song or possibly even an album that Rip made. And he's telling Rip to like, like once again, get out the game, go follow your dreams. You have talent, you know, get this music out there. Let's get this tape out there, you know, and go do your thing. Here we have Meech and T sitting on Meech bands just out here in the streets. I'm pretty sure, you know, this is probably them trying to establish themselves down there in Atlanta. Um, more than likely, they are in the strip club, as we've seen in a trailer where T and Meech are in the strip club in Atlanta um, just celebrating. So here we have Charles and Sister Riley. And for those of you who don't remember Sister Riley, Sister Riley was in last season. She was the woman who Lucille thought Charles was having an affair with, which we all know it was Mabel. But she approached Sister Riley in last season about Charles and come to find out you know, Sister Riley tells Lucille that I'm not having an affair with your husband. So we see these two back again here in a restaurant, Um, you know, kind of holding hands. I don't think that Charles is interested at all in Sister Riley, as we also see that there is some music notes. There's a music sheet under Sister Riley's hands. So more than likely, this is nothing more than them just reconnecting and Charles is willing to help Sister Riley with her music maybe sister riley is doing some type of solo deal or song and whatnot and she you know reached out to charles and charles is just willing to help her create and produce her song here we have charles and lucille in the house and we see charles with his guitar so from this scene right here we can already tell that charles once again is trying to get that old thing back and he is serenading her with a song now which song we don't know is possibly a song maybe they got married to as it looked like lucille right here is very emotional and she's on the verge of tears here we have meech and angel at the platinum palace I'm not sure as to what this situation can be as it's daytime there's nobody in the club um Maybe again, Angel's telling Meech, you know, about wanting to go back to Greeny or, you know, not wanting to work at the Platinum Palace. I'm kind of shocked to even see Meech back at the Platinum Palace as we know what him and Duffy did to Greeny. But I'm thinking here, this is quite possibly the case is that Angel is telling Meech, you know, hey, I'm here, you know. Greeny is still wanting his money or you know just wanting to go back to Greeny or somewhat or it could be that Meech is just saying you know keep doing your thing you know I'm gonna take care of you don't worry about it I'm gonna hold you down and here we have Stax T and Meech and two other characters um, that we haven't seen before and we know that they are in Duffy's crib so things right here look possibly look a little tense um if you saw the previous pictures we saw meech and t sitting on a bins and we know as we can see that those are the exact same clothes that they had on in that scene so i'm guessing here this is after the club and i'm thinking here this is where meech starts to put everything together that Stax is working with glock and, he, and he's not to be trusted at all as everybody's facial expression looks like very serious like something is about to go down especially the character on the right to me that's giving him the side out maybe could be one of Stack's uh soldiers and you know Stack's maybe told him some type of a plan or whatnot but i'm thinking here this is where stacks um i'm sorry meech finds out that stacks was you know he's working with glock 
and it could be quite possible also that maybe this is where Stax tells Meech, you know, about the whole meetup in Techwood and Remy Ransom. And that's where he plotted, you know, as we know, to take Meech out. And that's how he set up Meech and BMF to go to Techwood in the first place. So y'all let us know what y'all think down in the comments. Drop your comments, drop your prediction. And also please hit that like and subscribe button and let us know what you think. Thank you.